Good morning, my dear students. How are you all? Hope you are fine. So, in last class, we have learned uh, the supplementary only, right? So, today we are going to see the book back one words. So, take page number hundred and six. Identify the character and speaker. So, you have to identify the character or who said that dialogue. You have to identify it. Okay. The first one. Owl is gone. Who said? Poil, okay. All is gone. Who said poil? Then second one. She opened one eye and then the other. Who? Owly, okay. Owly only opened one eye, then the other eye, okay. Third one. Don't panic. Who said poil's mom? Okay. So first one answer is poil. Second one answer is owly. Third one answer is Poyle's mother. Okay. See the B section. Choose the correct answer from the options given. First one. The owlet was das. The owlet was brown and grey color or white and grey color. Brown and grey color. Okay. Mark it. Then second one. In Poyle's family, they were all das, non-vegetarian, vegetarian, vegetarian, okay. Third one, the cage was shifted to the das, library or living room. The cage was shifted to the library. So the answer is library. So in B section, first one answer is brown and gray color. Second one is vegetarian. Third one is library. Okay. See the C section. Read the passage and answer the questions. So you have to read the passage and read the questions uh, given below. You have to find the correct answer from the paragraph. Okay. See the paragraph. Poyal and her mother started talking bravely about where to bury Auli. Just then Auli opened one eye, then the other. She got out her feet and quickly climbed the birch. Poya learned later that falling on her back and pretending to be dead was Auli's way of defending herself against danger. Okay. See the first question. Why did Poya and her mother want to bury Auli. So here you have to write the answer. We have a space there. So just you write the answer. Okay. Poyal and her mother want to bury Auli because they thought that Auli was dead. Okay. The second one. What did Auli do then? You have to mark it. The paragraph second line, just then Auli opened one eye and then the other. Just you mark it. Just then Auli opened one eye and then the other. Okay, that is the answer of question two. Third one, what did Paya learn from Auli's pretense? See third line in that paragraph. Poya learned later that falling on her back and pretending to be dead was Auli's way of defending herself against danger. Okay, that is the answer. Third one answer. Okay. See the D section. Rearrange the following jumble sentences in the correct order. So you have to arrange the points. Okay. This is jumble sentences. See the points. Poyle's house was a home for abandoned animals. It was a small ball of brown and grey. She found an outlet in one corner. Poyle's mother picked her up gently. Poyle's mother opened the cartoon. One day they got a cartoon. So you have to arrange it correctly. Okay. So which one comes first? Poyle's house was a home for abandoned animal okay that is the first one 
the second one is one day they got a cartoon okay you have to arrange it correctly that is very very important here okay so the second point is one day they got a cartoon and the third one what Poyle's mother opened the cartoon okay and the fourth one is she found an owlet in one corner that is fourth one and fifth one is it was a small ball of brown and gray and the sixth one is Poyle's mother picked her up gently so the answer is 154632 okay Poyle's house was a home for abandoned animals one day they got a cartoon Pyle's mother opened the cartoon. She found an owlet in one corner. It was a small ball of brown and gray. Pyle's mother picked her up gently. Okay, this is the answer. And next E section, um, I have given you uh, the two question answers, right? So move on to the G section. Write a caption for these pictures. One is done for you. So, one is done for you. You can see the first picture. The small boy is helping the blind man, right? So, the answer they have given you, help the needy. Help the needy. So, like that you have to see the pictures and you just write the caption. Okay? This is the assignment for you. Just you do it, okay? See the next section. Find the group name and write them in the blanks. One is done for you. So one is done for you. For example, elephant, tiger, lion, monkey. These are land animals. Okay. Like that you have to find out. First one. Eel, shield, walrus, she has. These are sea animals. Okay. Second one. Pearl, coral, conch, oil. These are sea products. So products which comes from C is called C product okay the third one submarine ship yacht ferry these are water transport the fourth one kite surfing scuba diving parasailing these are water games okay fifth one albatross penguin pelican Fish, hawk, these are sea birds. Okay, the answer is sea animals, sea products, water transport, water games, sea birds. So, I will give all these answers through WhatsApp. Okay, take page number 110, unit 2, prose. The title of the prose is When the Trees Walked. The title is when the trees walked look at the picture in that page describe it the children are playing in the tree right a boy is reading a book sitting on a branch a girl is looking through the binoculars a boy is plucking fruits then a girl is in a swing and a boy pushes her a boy is jumping over a boy who is kneeling. Yes, some boys try to climb on the tree. See the next page, page number 111. What are things you can notice here? Two persons are speaking, right? So one is called the grandfather. The another one, that small boy is called author. Who is author? One who narrate the story. One who say the story. That person is called author okay in this whole prose i refers to the author author is the small boy grandson okay so grandfather and grandson grandson is called author okay author means one who narrate the story don't forget okay and what are things you notice there so grandfather and grandson both are speaking and you can see mango tree lot of other trees uh, two houses old house uh, and new house then these two of them sitting on the veranda and you can see a lot of flowers then fruits butterfly 
and the way you can see birds okay so see the next page first paragraph one morning while i was sitting beside grandfather on the veranda steps i noticed the tendril of a creeping vine trailing nearby as we sat there in the soft sunshine or a north indian winter i saw the tendril moving slowly towards the grandfather 20 minutes later it had crossed the step and was touching his feet okay listen one morning when the small boy and his grandfather were sitting on the veranda the small boy who is the small boy the author okay the author noticed the tentel what do you mean by tentel that is the thread like part of a climbing plant that is called tentel tentel of a creeping vine creeper okay creeping vine trailed nearby that means growing closely towards them after 20 minutes the tentel you can see the picture tentel okay the tentel crossed the step and was touching grandfather's feet okay see the next paragraph there is probably a scientific explanation for the plant's behavior something to do with light and warmth perhaps but i like to think it moved across the steps simply because it wanted to be near grandfather one always felt like drawing close to him sometimes when i sat by myself beneath a tree i would feel rather lonely but as soon as grandfather joined me the garden became a happy place grandfather had served many years in the indian forest service and it was nature that he should know trees and like them on his retirement he built a bungalow on the outskirts of Dehradun, planting trees all around, lime, mango, orange, and goa, also eucalyptus, jaranda, and Persian lilacs. In the fertile Dune Valley, plants and trees grow tall and strong. Listen, there is a scientific explanation for the plant's behavior. The plants need light and warmth. That's why it grow that side. Okay, which side? near to the grandfather but the other things the plants wanted to be near grandfather that's why it moves near to whom grandfather okay sometimes when the other sat under the tree he felt lonely but after his grandfather joined her with him the garden became a happy place for him whom the other okay the other is a small boy now we can see about the grandfather okay grandfather served many years in the indian forest service so it was nature for him that he should know about trees and he liked them very much so grandfather liked trees very much okay after his retirement after grandfather's retirement what he did he built a bungalow on the border of dehradun so dehradun is a place okay is the capital of India state of Uttarakhand near the Himalayan foothills okay he planted lime mango orange goa and also eucalyptus jaranda and persian lilacs okay so in that fertile dune valley you can see the picture in the fertile dune valley plants and trees grow tall and strong okay okay students these two paragraphs are enough today because we have uh, learned about the one words of the supplementary aulie right so these two paragraphs are enough today okay see the glossary i have taken only one glossary okay so see the first glossary fertile able to produce a lot of plants or crops fertile able to produce a lot of plants or crops okay so hope you all understand these two paragraphs thank you so much